see y'all this is the closure after I've gotten it all bleached I was trying to put some y'all see that For the focus, y'all see that you don't see any black knots or anything like that, and that's what you want, okay? And it's not too yellow either, it probably looks like it on the camera, but y'all will see. Now, as far as products with the um, with the bundles, I use the Herbal Essences Hello Hydration, sorry, y'all, and I used the shampoo and conditioner for that. I rinsed everything out. But with the closure, I used this ISO Plus um, neutralizing shampoo and conditioner just because I bleached the closure and I wanted to add some um, moisture back to the closure. Sorry, I got lost in my words. But yeah, I wanted to add some moisture. I didn't want the closure to be too weak. But yeah, you see like no knots. You can see right through that. And you know when it lays on like your scalp, you'll get some brownness to it. But yeah, that's all the products I've used with the washing. So let's get to the next step, y'all. Make sure you're not sewing through that elastic band on the spandex cap or else it's going to it's gonna mess you up. And it's gonna make it to where the cap doesn't stretch anymore. And you might be SOL if you have a big head like mine. Y'all have to really be patient with this thread because it really, it really does the most. Like, how does hair get tangled in thread? How? Yeah. Okay. Now we're getting some. You want to double that up. Make sure it's nice and secure. When I did the first bundle, and now closer to the top, so I'm doing about a half inch. You want, you can see it's starting to like curve, just like the closure. You want to keep going in this loop kind of direction. And then when I turn, I do one at a time. I do this first. Then I knot it. And then I do the other things with that. So I'm approaching my final stitch. But um, some people may run into this issue. It's where you have like a bunch of space here and you only have a little bit of room here. All you do is you're gonna just keep sewing here and do the flip over, just flip over, flip over, flip over till you get to about right here. And then you start back making your last stitch around this area where the clove is gonna be, okay? And I'll kind of show y'all that. Okay, so I've sewn, sewn this down. So I'm gonna flip over Go in the opposite direction and keep sewing until I kind of get it even to where I only have to go a full um, way around the closure once. Because those sides have no room left. So I'm just going to keep flipping. And I forgot to tell y'all, um, I always, always, always on my last bundle single, single the bundle versus um, doubling it because I don't want it to be all bulky and big and fake looking at the top where the closure lays on top of this area. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna do like, it's probably gonna take one more flip over. 
make sure you go to the very corner so that when you flip there's no space right there see and you have to end with one single way around so like ending with this and that that wouldn't work so you're gonna see how it looks when I finish I'm just gonna cut here because I see this is where I'm gonna end and I'm gonna finish sewing that that little piece down and I only cut it because I need this last piece to be one whole piece and I've actually almost used the whole bundle <laughs> And the hair is still wet, by the way. It is not completely dry. So, let's hope it's not too big. It's, yeah, let's just hope. I'm going to make this last piece. You can even go ahead and just measure your way around and go ahead and cut it. Oh, I hate these two pins. Yeah, just going to measure that around. Be careful not to cut too close. You don't want to cut any threads. I'm gonna cut that off this little too much. Cut that off. You have the U part here, lady. See her. Excuse my mannequin, y'all. She's been through a lot. She's been through some glue and things. But yeah, that's the part, and I'm gonna get ready for this closure. Oh.